When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know, I'm Angie. This is 4F Beauty. You are more than welcome. You will have seen from the thumbnail, the title and the description. I got a bit of a Gerard Cosmetics. It was a mini order and I took advantage of their sort of Black Friday Cyber Monday deals and I picked up one of their mystery boxes. It's the first time I picked up a Gerard mystery box so it'll be interesting to see what's in it and whether I get any duplicates of stuff I've already bought which of course is always a risk with a mystery box and I do have an awful lot of Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and glosses because I like them. So, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, get comfy, let's see what's in the box. Right, being very careful to open this so I don't flash my address at you. Let's deal with what I ordered first. I ordered myself two lipsticks and a glitter lipstick because, well, Christmas is coming and it seemed rude not to. So, the two lipsticks I have picked up are, and I've already got this in the liquid version, but I wanted the bullet version as well. This is 1995. And she looks like that. And I also picked up Enchanté, which is a slightly more greyish mauve. And you all know these, that's my kind of, you know, that's, that's, that's my go-to nude, basically, a greyish mauve. And the glitter lipstick that I picked up is called Cupid. It's one of those boxes that wants to tear as you open it. So tweezers are a must with those ones, ladies and gents. And uh, it says glitter lipstick, but. Not seeing glitter is very subtle. Let's give it a swipe. Oh no, you can see the glitter once you swipe. Oh, okay. oh, that's quite nice actually. That's more subtle than I was expecting. Hopefully, you can see the reflection in that. I don't want to get too close to the camera because the lights behind it will wash them out. Okay, so that's 1995, Enchanté and Cupid. And before I do anything else, I am wiping those off because we all know what I'm like. I will end up with it everywhere. Oh, and Cupid has left a slight stain and she's only been on there a couple of seconds. So that's a good sign for a red lippy. You want it to stain so that uh, if it does wear off a little bit, it's not noticeable. Oh, glitter lipstick's a little bit too fat of a box to fit in my holder, but the other lipsticks will go in absolutely fine. Right, I'm going to have a bit of a wiggle. I'll cut this bit out, but I'm in quite a bit of pain. Right, okay. 
there were three levels of mystery box. There was the window shopping box, which is the one that I got, which was $39, $85 minimum value. Trip to the mall was $77 with $170 minimum value. And full on haul was $139 with a $300 minimum value. So, you know, you are, you are getting your money's worth, providing you don't get too many duplicates. But if you do get duplicates, perfect presents. It's Christmas coming up. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, you know. So, the mystery box bit is all under this gold tissue paper. So, we start off with a metal matte lipstick in Dream Weaver. Dream Weaver. Oh, that's quite nice. It's like a... It's like a cross between a rose gold and a bronze. And this is a lip pencil in Red Brick Road. Ooh. Looks like it's going to be a nice berry red. It would match this by the look of it. Yes, it would. I'm not going to swatch it yet because I don't always use lip liners. I know I've, I've got a couple of nude lip liners that I use when I'm wearing glosses. Or I've got a couple of um, lipsticks that are a little bit like the Kim KW in the Natasha's and only there's just a fraction to concealer lips on me. So I've got a couple of nude lip, lip liners that I use for that. Continuing on, oh I've got a little mini sleigh all day. These are great to stick in your handbag in the summer girls and boys. This is in the scent Lemon Grass. I will probably pass this on to a friend actually. Because I've got two of the mint shot chip in this size. And I've got about ten of the full size ones that I've got as backups. So I will probably end up passing this on to a friend of mine. For them to have and enjoy. Then there's a Hydra Matte Lipstick in Mercury Rising. Just checking, I don't think I've got this one. Oh! Bit of a shake, it's settled a bit in transport. Oh, I say. Angelica Nyquist would love this. She loves her orange lipsticks. Look at that. Oh, that would go nice with a nice... Mm, think about that in the summer. Mm. I bet you Nona is absolutely drooling at the screen right now. If you are, darling, it's Dreamweaver in their metal matte range and Code Bomber will save you 30% when it's not got offers on the site. Um, when you have got offers on the site, there's a link down below. If you click that and follow that through, that will take you straight through to all the offers and everything. And this is a... Ah! I have a duplicate. This is a lipstick, London Fog. And I have... London Fog. So, I will swatch my one. Just check, I have actually picked out the right one. Yes, I have. 
I obviously haven't used my London Fog yet. How remiss of me. London Fog is that gorgeous grey. Isn't it stunning? So I can pass that London Fog on to somebody else as well for them to enjoy. And this is their... Uh, the lipstick formula so I don't think it's the matte lipstick I'm pretty sure it's the the Hydra matte because that went on really really smoothly so there we go I was really happy with that two metal mattes a lip liner a lipstick and a mini setting spray. That's pretty good going, guys. That is really good going. So I am well happy with that. It's the first time I've got one of their um, mystery boxes because, as I said, I've got a lot of their lipsticks already. But I thought. No, do you know what? I'll take the plunge, I'll have a go, because it is coming up to Christmas, and if I do end up with duplicates or colours that I wouldn't wear, Christmas presents. So I was actually really impressed that I only got one duplicate out of all of that, and that was the London Fog. So, there we go folks. Nice little quick mini one for you did you take advantage of the uh, the Gerard offers over uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday let me know did you get any of their mystery boxes if you did what did you get in yours did you get anything did you get any of the same as me or did you get different ones let me know love to hear love to hear right how's this for a, actually a quick film from me you watch me ruin it now by blithering for about half an hour for the end of it you know what I'm like right as I said um, I have got a discount code below which is bomber in all caps I've also got a link that will take you straight through to the site I do make a small commission if you use my code, don't feel obliged to, lots of people have codes, you don't have to use it, you can wait for a time when they have special offers on, they very often do a 51% off the whole site, um, you know what will they do for New Year, there's a good question, will they have a Boxing Day sale, I don't know, they haven't told us yet, um, either way, all of my discount codes are listed below and all of them state whether or not I earn from them. Right, my lovelies, if you are one of my 4F babies, please double check you are still subscribed. YouTube are unsubscribing people, but they are leaving my films in your feed so it is not obvious that you have been deleted. It's also worth double checking your notification status because they keep knocking mine back to personalised which means I don't get any notifications at all. In fact there's a couple of channels that I checked because I hadn't had notifications for and someone said to me have you seen the latest film that so and so put up and I'm like no I didn't get a notification for that went and checked their channel I've missed about three films because even although my notifications were still set to all so I took my notifications off I came out and back in put my notifications back on again and I'm still not getting notifications I don't know what's going on but YouTube doesn't like me very much great um, yeah and do let me know in the comments what was your favourite thing that I either bought or got in my mystery box uh, which one would you be most excited to find? 
if you had opened this up what would, what would be what would you be most excited about from that box that I've just opened hmm? right if you are new here hi hello welcome um, trust me my films are usually much longer than this you usually get much much longer to relax and put your feet up and chill out and have some me time however uh, if you feel like you can put up with me whittering at you a little bit more about other things it's super easy to join the 4F family we are the nicest family on YouTube you hit the red subscribe button and turn it grey then you ring my bell ring my bell if I can remember how to click in the hope that YouTube will actually pull their finger out and send you some notifications. In the meantime, this eye look, I don't know if it's gone up yet. If it's gone up, I'll link it in the description box. If it hasn't, keep an eye out. It'll be up soon. Um, yeah, if, there's, if you want some me time or you're worried that you may have missed some of my films, uh, do double check excuse me, hiccups do have a look through the playlists that I've got um, I've got an awful lot of films that you can choose from I've got tutorials, product reviews, collaborations, challenges tag films, hauls, makeup box openings I even read you my favourite poem in one of them yes, a poem and no, it's not one that you're going to necessarily know. Because most people, when I start reading it to them, have never heard it before. And it's one that my granddad used to say to me as a kid, so it has a very special place in my heart. Basically, if you're looking for a bit of me time, Grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up, settle back down with your cup of tea and your toasted tea cake, or a, a glass of vino and a Viscount biscuit, <laughs> uh, and basically just relax for a bit while I blather at you about everything and nothing in particular, usually whilst applying coloured pigments to various areas of my face. Alright my lovelies, I need to go and get a drink because my mouth feels like Methuselah's moccasin right now. Which means I've done too much talking. No change there. All that remains for me to say, as ever, my darlings, is you'll stay fabulous. And I... I'll see you next time. Bye for now.